Welcome to Rauta. This time we have a Polish black metal band for review. Now, as many of you know, uh, Polish black metal has been quite nice during past 20 years, or even more, actually. And um, I think it's only a very few who don't know big black metal names from Poland, such as Behemoth and Mgwa. Well, there are others as well, obviously, like Place of Perdition and all that stuff, but at least the two first mentioned bands are something that most people should know, at least if you're at all involved in the black metal scene in the first place. But obviously in a country such as Poland, being a big and all, there are others as well, and sometimes they go a little bit under the radar, so to speak. So today I will tell you a band about Dagoroth, which is here for review with an EP called Evil is the Spirit. Now this is a EP of 40 minutes length and uh, one could even wonder why it's an EP of 40 minutes. Well, I'll explain or at least try to. Anyway, here is the EP booklet. Four tracks plus actually a Von cover track which is not exactly 10 minutes, but something like 8 minutes or so, giving this uh, EPA length to uh, beat even some of the albums. It is 40 minutes in total. Curiously enough, and kind of a different from many other um, EPs out there in the world, with or albums even, with uh, cover tracks, this case, the cover is actually weaker than the band's own material, which is not always given. I mean, many bands do quite solid work, and even still, the cover tracks are better. Because, well, bands covering, doing covers of um, tracks that are so great, it kind of uh, sh overshadows the band's own material. But Decorate is a different breed. So, here we have the EP, let's take a look, look on the band's uh, metal archive site, which you will see right here. Coming from Poland, this band features four members. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure if this uh, lineup information is uh, updated, because, well, I got this album in 2019 already, going back through my catalog, backlog of a catalog, that is, and... Uh, this uh, EP is already from 2018, as said. Since then, as you can see, pretty much the band has done a split release, and earlier they done a full-length album. But to me, this is my first contact with the band, so had very neutral expectations what to uh, what to expect from this band, you know, because none of these really give you indication what kind of stuff. Would it be? What do you have here on Facebook and other social media pages? You cannot really tell so much about the music because, well, you're a black metal band from Poland. It could be crap, it could be high quality, or just something in between. And is, as is the case with this Dakarov case, uh, I can say this is actually better than one could have expected. Why so? Well, I'll try once again explain. Now, decorate style is something which I would say is kind of a modern third wave black metal. By that I mean, while it has some clues um, related to second wave black metal, that is mostly of the Nordic style, which is usually what people kind of refer to, this is something that when I was giving my initial spin for this album, I was like pretty much figuring out like, hmm, I really cannot put my finger on any of this. It's like... Where is this coming from? These melodies don't exactly... don't point to any given direction. Like, my mind is like blank. Some of these ideas are more like something that could have come out of Icelandic black metal scene. Like, uh, a little bit is kind of a dissonant feeling, but not exactly. So I'm like totally lost with my so-called map of black metal. Usually you kind of have some hints, okay, this is Finnish style, this is probably some German pagan black metal, this is all American style, or whatever. 
But this time I was like, okay, this is a, this is a puzzle to me. I don't know. So as I was listening, I was obviously browsing the ML archives information and the booklet and whatever, and found out to be a Polish. Now, this is all kind of a cool thing that it's not so given where this band is coming from, because then you have no uh, kind of a expectations as such, and you don't feel too uh, kind of a common with some other bands, not too much similarity. And this is actually a pretty good, an album. Um, like I said, the one cover is the weakest one, and the first four tracks, which I'm not going to even try to pronounce because I don't know Polish, um, they're actually quite good. Some of them have like very melodic parts, some are more in the atmospheric stuff, some are mid-tempo, some are fast-tempo, some are more dissonant, and some are a little bit more into kind of second-wave stuff. So it's kind of a combination, but not in a way of being a mishmash kind of a thing, like it's a, you know, combination of different styles. It's not that, but it's more like finding their own path through these different styles. So it's like between second and third wave in a way, because it doesn't really sound like neither of these. But if I had to put my put this in a single box or of or subgenre of subgenre, then I would say more like the modern third wave stuff. Anyway, all this being done is uh, quite nice because the sound quality and the production is actually supporting the style. So it's kind of a thin, kind of a evil guitar sound. By evil, I mean in this case that. It's not exactly lo-fi, but definitely not hi-fi either. And it's kind of a sharp, razory kind of sound, which then again actually fits the music very well. Now, the vocals are rather typical, doesn't really, you know, swing way one, one way or another. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not really great either. But totally doing their job. And so overall, this is rather nice EP. Not exactly pure greatness. I'm not gonna say, yeah, this is the EP of 2018 or anything like that. But definitely something that I found more enjoyable than anything else. So it's actually pretty good. So with this information, if I was you, I would be opening this Bandcamp page right now and just listening to the music. And in case you find it worthwhile listening to, hey, it's a digital album link for you to buy or then you can just go for some of these labels and get your copy. I got mine from Negretto Records for review, so thank you for that. And with this information, well, give Dagoroth a chance. Maybe not the most memorable name or style, but at least it's something worthwhile listening to. So enjoy Dagoroth and take care.